Well, 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 what do we have here? We have a huge and exciting announcement here at Softer. If you've been a user of Softer for a while, then you know that we have a couple of different data sources to choose from. It says on our website, Airtable or Google Sheets, but something that we're launching that you're gonna love is SmartSuite as a data source. In order to utilize the SmartSuite data source, go to create new application. I would pick one from scratch and then create it. And then from there, Similar to what we had with the update with all of our data sources, you can go to the bottom left of your software account and go to data sources, and then simply click on connect data source and click SmartSuite. So as it notes, when you continue, you'll automatically give software access to SmartSuite data. So from here, all I need to do is log into my SmartSuite account, and then you'll see right here that I have the account already connected. So it's essentially available to everyone now as a beta, and it will be available outside of beta moving forward. So this essentially works very similarly to what we have with our other products that we have as data sources. The only thing I will say is that the templates currently aren't going to work with SmartSuite for the most part. And I want to just show you an example of how this works by going to one of our made from scratch options here. And then you'll see that we can select this SmartSuite data source. And very similar to what you have in Airtable, we have solutions and then tables. So inside of your SmartSuite account, if we take a look at mine really quick, we'll have some examples like this sales CRM. So if I were to snag this solution being the sales CRM, you'll see that there are a myriad of different tables to choose from. And that would be accounts, contacts, opportunities, and sales resources. Now, if I pick on accounts from there, it'll connect them. And very similarly to the other options that we have, we can add additional conditional filters. So let's assign some content here, right? So I'm gonna map it to the different fields that exist. As you can notice here, we do have different columns and all of these different columns are essentially going to be fields that we can map. So account name, replace that move forward with this as well. So there are going to be fields that essentially pull in like monthly revenue as an option. Since this is a CRM, that would make a lot of sense. Let's do monthly revenue. And then from there, we can add even more fields if we'd like, like email, for example. So if we get customer email, that might work in there. I will make one note that you'll notice that things like account manager aren't necessarily gonna go over. Um, this is a little bit limited when it comes to assigned properties. Um, so this is essentially a field that's for assigned to. Doesn't seem to be going through at the moment. However, there's always opportunity for us to improve these data sources moving forward. So now let's take this into account as a preview. We can go and see that the account name and the monthly value are gonna show here, as well as the email. Now when it comes to actions, whether it be adding records or updating, we still can do the exact same thing with buttons. So I can have it add a record in this button you notice right here, when I press add record, it hasn't been configured. So all I need to do is, for example, add the name. So let's do short text or rich text and do account name. Have to be required, have a number and then monthly value, revenue be required. And then let's do email and then back to customer email. So after doing required there, we can press publish, and then we can also actually do the same thing for the edit record, so we can have it edit the record when it comes to the name, monthly revenue, and the email as well, making them not required for any of them just so that they can do whichever one they please when it comes to updating. And then we also have the option to do a open details page when we click on the items too. Very similar to what we can do with other data sources and software. So let's do a quick preview. And check this out. So right here, I can go to add record and you'll see now that the form is submitted, I can put their name. I can also put the number so I can put like Dimitri Panici, $5,000. And then I can put Dimitri at softer.io. Press add. Then from within there, you'll notice right here that this record was added. And obviously I can add more different aspects to it like the type whether it be you know, a prospect, for example, which in that case would have popped up here. And I can add all of these different fields in the add and update, but it's absolutely amazing how 
robust our system is getting at software. We can use so many different backends now. I personally am a huge fan of the way that Smart Suite works. I think it's a very well-made platform and I love the way that we can now make all the same kind of portals and use cases work to your advantage. And obviously, as we expand with this product, we're going to have all the same features that you love connected to different data sources more and more in the future. If you like this video and want to see more content on how we are improving our stack at software, make sure to check out all of our other content by subscribing to this YouTube channel and staying updated. With that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.